Today, I'm coming at you guys from inside of Diablo Immortal, inside of the closed alpha, playing as the Crusader. I just got off my live stream and played for about two hours with this brand new class, and I wanted to bring you guys a video giving you my first impressions of the Crusader, showing you the skills that I've unlocked and the attacks that are available right now, and basically give you an overview. Plus, I will play through the class a little bit as well. Again, about two hours into the game, up to level 22 from my Crusader class. And, uh, you know, we're, we're looking pretty good. Why don't we take a second and go on over to the skills. Before we do, remember that I'm doing live streams here on the channel and over on Twitch of Diablo Immortal while I have this closed alpha. If you guys want to hang out and be part of that, make sure you sub the channel, ring the bell, or come follow me over on Twitch. All that stuff's linked down below, just so you don't miss it. Now, we did just have some high HP enemies uh, arrive right here. Now, these enemies are great to take down because they're going to give you a lot of XP. I'm using a bunch of my skills right now because remember, inside of the game, you want to use them so you don't lose them type stuff. Oh, that was just nasty. And you got to watch me upgrade to level 23 as well. You notice I have a horse that I can ride. No other class has a horse that you can ride. And uh, okay, so let's take you on a little journey into the gear and the skills. So looking at the gear right here, first of all, you can easily switch and equip stronger gear as you move along and progress, which works out really nice. It's just such a nice, easy system to upgrade stuff. Now, you may notice my face cam is on the opposite side of the screen because I really wanted you to see the controls going on over there. So we manipulated the overlay just a little bit to make it a better viewing experience for you guys. But let's go ahead and take a look at the skills. We're gonna go on into the menu, pop onto skills, and you'll notice a few things. First of all, we have Punish, which is our primary attack. I have yet to unlock Sacred Fire. With Punish, strike an enemy for 514 to 617 damage and gain Hardened Senses, increasing your block chance by 30% for two seconds now we have this ranked up to level five remember skills will upgrade themselves as will primary attacks as you progress through your levels with the class automatically it just happens you don't have to do anything it just is going to progress itself we have the counter attack storm enhanced punish for 12 seconds striking all enemies in front of you increasing its damage per hit 706 to 858 and increasing its block chance bonus. You also gain a shield that absorbs equal to 20% of your maximum life for 30 seconds. Basically, this is your super. When you get this charged up, which will be that icon around your primary attack button, when that charges up, you can use your counter attack storm. I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty far away from it actually right now. By the way, we're right here with Chaotic. What's up, Chaotic? Nice to see you here. Actually, we talk about how this is a an open world game. These are all, well, not all, but a lot of them are actually players that are playing alongside of me. Now, I just got the urge to just beat down some demons a little bit, so I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna take you through the rest of the skills so you can see what they're all about. And it looks like we're gonna be going to Bloodsworn Den Entrance. So while we're actually paused here, it's probably a good time to look at the other skills before the battle. So it looks like we have six skills unlocked right now. Remember, you can equip four of them. And we have one here. It's called Concentration. I'm using it right now just for testing. It's basically a circle that goes around you, dealing 2,112 damage to all near nearby enemies for six seconds. So basically what this does is it drops a circle around you. Any enemies that go in there, they take damage. Pretty simple stuff. We have a really exciting one here, draw and quarter. This is where you're gonna be mounting a horse, grabbing enemies, dragging them behind you, and you could attack while doing it. I'm going to give you guys demonstrations of this in just a few moments. Let's read this one though, because it's pretty cool. Mount a celestial war horse for six seconds, dispelling all movement impairing effects, increasing your movement speed by 65% and replacing your primary attack with a strike for 296 damage. Holy Chains will bind up to eight nearby monsters and drag them for a ride for 217 damage. Again, this is at rank number three, very early on in the game. It's only gonna get stronger. Falling Sword so far has been my favorite skill because this is going to drop a sword wherever you want it to fall. You can direct it with your touchpad 
and then when you hit the attack button again, it will teleport you to fall down doing damage to the enemies in that position. It's going to deal 627 damage over five seconds to all nearby enemies. Activate again to launch yourself into the heavens and come crashing down the enemies, dealing 644 damage to all nearby enemies by retrieving the sword. That's a lot of damage that you can do just from that one skill. I happen to love it. We have Shield Glare, which is basically going to shine light at your enemies. It's going to deal 532 damage. It's going to blind them for three seconds. This is a good one. I like it because it does deal damage. We have it up to, what is it, uh, level six or rank six already. It's not my favorite. It's not one that I would put in front of any of the others that I currently have in my selection uh, chart, buttons, my selection screen. It's not my favorite. We haven't had it ranked up all the way yet, so it's not a good enough judgment for me. It's really nice. The the blinding effect is cool as well. Puts you to safety for a little while, but not my best. But then we have Spinning Shield, which is one of my best. This one, you're gonna be show, throwing your shield. It does damage and with a boomerang effect comes back to you. The cool thing is when it comes back, it brings enemies back to you with it. Hurl a spinning shield inflicting 429 damage to all enemies in its path. The shield will return to you, pulling enemies in its path to you, dealing an additional 286 damage. Three charges, which is nice as well, and uh, you can use it once every three seconds. I personally like that one. I think it works really nicely, and uh, well, I think you should use it. But we have one more, and that is the sweep attack. This is basically a cleave where you can charge it up and you can do a nice rounded attack. I was using that one in place of the concentrate and then I was testing out concentrate. Sweep the mystical flail through enemies in front of you dealing 599 damage. Charging longer increases range and damage up to 759. When fully charged, sweep attack will also knock enemies away. So this is a great and the only charge attack that I have unlocked mo right now. But as you can see, we have many more that we can unlock. Remember, two new skills were unlocked for each of the characters inside of the game right now. And look at this. We're still, we're still safe right here. And check it out, guys. Check out that grass. Now, you'll probably notice there's a red dot in the top of the screen. This is going to show you, and I'm going to give you a little peek into the battle pass right now. The battle pass on the bottom during the closed alpha, all question marks. In the technical alpha, there was actually some stuff down below with some question marks. This time around, it is all. A couple of places worth noting. At level 10, you're going to be getting yourself a legendary weapon specific to the class you choose. At level 15, you're going to be getting Celed's Weakening, which is also a legendary gem. And then you're going to get some legendary crests along the way as well, which is always nice. And then at the very end, at level 40, which is at level 40 now, I thought it went to 70 last time around, but I, I could be wrong. I have to go look in my older footage. You get a gem, which I loved, which was power and command. This is something you are going to want to grind for on the battle pass, gaining 40 to 50% of socketed items base attribute. Remember, you take these gems and put them inside of your gear or your weapons. Power and command alternates states every nine seconds. Power increases your primary attack damage by 7.5%. Command increases all of the skill damage by 7.5. So this is a great gem that you're gonna wanna unlock. An amazing reason why, whether you take the free tier up top or the paid tier down below, the battle pass is important. But now, let's go check out this Crusader in action. But let's claim this first. Yeah, now, now let's go. We're going on into the portal, Bloodsworn's Den entrance, and your boy is about to play the game with you and demonstrate some of these things, some of these skills that we have right here. So we're gonna go ahead right here. We're gonna watch this pullback effect. You can use the boomerang. It brings it right to me and I can finish off the attack. We're gonna do it again. We're actually gonna use the, uh, the concentration skill, doing, inflicting damage to the enemies that are within. Worked out nicely, here we go again. I'm gonna grab them, pull them all back in, there we go, and then we attack. I just love it. But you guys are definitely gonna wanna see this, this horse, right? You're gonna wanna see this horse run around, so uh, why don't we do this, here. There you go, we can go around. My damage that I do while striking is even more, and check, it's just fast. It's fast, it's smart, it's strong, it's, uh, it's incredible. I love it. Uh, did I ever mention that I actually love this game as a whole. Okay, this guy's kind of tough. 
Looks like we're dealing with some type of a boss. We're going to go right here. Drop it down again. There we go. Go with the uh, extra damage that we're receiving from, from mounting our horse. And here we go. What do we have here? Let's collect it. And I think this is a boss fight that you're going to want to see. So let's get into this and show some of these skills actually in action. Let's see what she let's let's see what we can do as the Crusader. By the way, this is probably going to be the last video that you see me using the Crusader. Look at this, teleporting over there using that uh, that sword from above. Now I could probably change out my skills a little bit so you can see some of the others. May not be a bad idea, actually. We got a battle going on here. Here we go again. Boom! Right on top. There we go. We're going to use the horse around in circles. They're doing damage. Boom, there we go. Concentration attack. Remember to pick up those health globes while you can. Notice my, my super is almost charged. It's not quite though, not quite charged yet. Just dodge that in time. I'm taking some heat, I'm gonna use my health potion and we got some gear i love diablo immortal i will play it every day completed guys i hope you enjoyed my quick look into this crusader after playing the game for two hours now remember i was in the technical alpha and i played the game every day for a total of probably 80 hours we're two hours into the closed alpha and i anticipate having this game for one to two months so we're gonna get a ton of time inside of it can't wait to play it more with you guys on live streams and bring you all of the details, all the things that I learn, all of the tricks and guides right here on the channel. So make sure you stay locked so you don't miss any of that stuff. And I'm gonna keep it so you can actually see the attacks happening on the other side of the screen. I think it works out nice for you guys. Let me know what you think of the Crusader. I have to say, I think the Crusader looks pretty darn amazing. I don't even have any incredible gear unlocked yet, but a really solid looking character class. We got the attributes as well, which are changed by the gear that you in, that you throw on. We have our skills, Paragon you reach after you get yourself to max level. And notice we have a bunch of different Paragon options right there. And the bestiary, which we have not even gotten to yet in this new build. Notice we have the cycle history, adventurer, and clan options as well. We'll see if we can get into those in a video for you guys very soon. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you back here tomorrow with another one and be good.